Hello guys and welcome to Creative Team's new tutorial channel. We will be adding tutorials on how to use our products from now on, and this will be the place to find us. Today I'm going to show you how to use Rubik, our newest product. As you may know or not, in the last release we added a builder, so I'll be showing you how to use it in this video. First, open your archive and search for the Rubik builder file. It's this one. Okay, now we are in the builder page, so let's start playing with it. When you create a website, you need to have a main structure so that you can make changes inside a section and not disturb the other ones. That's why we created Rubik on the basis of sections. There are nine sections inside the Rubik page, as you can see. You are probably wondering by now why we named it Rubik and what could a website have in common with the Rubik cube. Remember when I told you that there are nine sections inside the Rubik cube? Well, I lied. You get to choose nine sections from many others and the process is exactly like playing with a Rubik cube. It comes by default with this combination, but I have to change them a little. So I'll add a gradient here and change the color. Actually, I'm gonna remove the parallax effect. Okay. Who we are section, it comes with a carousel. Let's say we need two columns, text and images. Okay. What we do section, it's like your team's value. I'm gonna put just text. Our project comes with four projects by default, but let's say I need six. You can see there are colored filters. You choose to put what you like. Let's open one. The client section. Actually, I'm gonna put just a testimonial here. A team section. Let's say your team has three members. A number section. Actually, I'm gonna remove the parallax here too. It says text and parallax, text and image. Let's say text and image, okay. Just like the header section. This is the contact section. Actually, I'm gonna leave it like this. And the footer. I'm gonna change the color here. Okay, so we have a new page. It took us just like one minute and a half, I think. Okay, so let's generate the code. We copy this and go back to the archive. If you open template, Yeah, nothing happens. It's a black page. So let's edit this with your code text editor. When you open this, you need to look for this class wrapper and you you paste your copied text here. Okay, let's save it and let's refresh the page. And here it is our new selection. It's simple as that. 